Introducing Taylor's newest test kit. The K1720 measures cyanuric acid from zero to 500 parts per million. No more guessing if it's too low or too high. And it uses the same turbidimetric method as the cyanuric acid test in Taylor's 2000 series test kits. This video will demonstrate how to test low range and high range cyanuric acid values. But first, we need to do a regular cyanuric acid test. Rinse and fill the sample bottle to the 15 milliliter mark with the water to be tested. Add R-0013 cyanuric acid reagent to the bottom of the neck of the same bottle. Twist on the white cap and mix for 30 seconds. Your sample will become cloudy if cyanuric acid is present. Looking down from the top to the bottom, squirt the mixed sample into the cyanuric acid view tube until the black dot at the bottom just disappears. Remember, disappears means you can no longer see the black dot. Do not fill past the 20 part per million mark on the view tube. For the low range cyanuric acid test, repeat the same steps as above, but stop adding your mixed sample at the 20 part per million mark. Wait two minutes. After two minutes, place the view tube on the instruction card and match the turbidity level to one of the printed standards on the instruction card. If the black dot is covered before the liquid level reaches the 100 part per million mark, your water sample has greater than 100 parts per million of cyanuric acid. Rinse and fill the dilution vial to the 10 milliliter mark with sample water. Dilute to 50 milliliters with water containing no cyanuric acid. Cap the tube and invert to mix. Repeat the steps for a standard cyanuric acid reading. Once the black dot just disappears, locate the part per million value on the side of the view tube and multiply that value by five to obtain the final result. Now users can see how easy, quick, and economical it is to see both low and high ranges of cyanuric acid. For any questions on the K1720 or any other test kit, please contact Taylor at 1-800-TEST-KIT. That's 1-800-837-8548.